<laughs> from Marley and me, obviously. <laughs> An apologies to Bob Harris, who's coming up next. Uh, that was Marley and Marley. Happy Christmas, everyone. Uh, it's Radio 2 on the BBC Sounds app, on your smart speaker and on 88 to 91 FM. BBC News at nine o'clock. This is Nikki Cardwell. The Chancellor Jeremy Hunt has delivered his autumn statement laying out £55 billion of tax rises and spending cuts, which he says will ensure a shallower downturn as the UK enters a recession. Mr Hunt told MPs that the state pension and all benefits would rise with inflation. Income tax thresholds have been frozen and help with energy bills will be reduced. Labour's Shadow Business Secretary Jonathan Reynolds says it's a reflection of Tory chaos. It was a reflection, frankly, of 12 years of Conservative failure on the poor growth in the economy and all the difficult decisions that have accrued because of that. And frankly, nothing... I heard, gave me a sense that this is the level of reset, the level of ambition that I think we need. And obviously what I really want is a general election where we can put our ideas forward and let the public decide on the way forward. Mr Hunt also announced an additional £4.6 billion for schools in England over the next two years. He said ensuring a good education for children was an economic and moral mission. The head teacher of Barnwood Park School in Gloucester, Karen Clinton, says the sector is still facing major challenges. I'm not really sure that it actually kind of redresses the balance of the significant underinvestment in education over the last 10, 15 years. We have issues around recruitment of staff. We can see families in free fall. The pressures that we kind of feel in our school are not being addressed by society. So it comes into the school and we see children who are undernourished, who are neglected. It's a serious worry. Another six days of strike action by Royal Mail workers has been announced. The CWU says its members will walk out for six days in the run-up to Christmas as part of a dispute about pay and conditions. A court in the Netherlands has found two Russians and a Ukrainian guilty of murdering the 298 people who were on board the Malaysia Airlines flight MH17. The plane was shot down by a Russian missile in 2014 as it flew over Ukraine. The three men who were tried in their absence were sentenced to life in prison. Russia denies any involvement. Barry Sweeney's 28-year-old son Liam was on the flight. When you look at the world, there's always tragedies happen, but this one was part of me. It's part of my life and it'll stay there forever. So I can't say it'll change a lot because obviously we're not going to get Liam back or the other 297 people on board. But at least we can see it to them. Something has been done. The US basketball player Brittany Griner has been transferred to a penal colony in the western Russian region of Mordovia. In August, she was sentenced to nine years on drugs charges after she was arrested at Moscow airport with vape cartridges containing cannabis oil. And a pair of sandals worn by the Apple co-founder Steve Jobs in the 1970s and 80s has sold at auction in California for the equivalent of £185,000. The auction house said the well-worn pair of Birkenstocks retained the imprints of Mr Jobs' pioneering feet. BBC News. It's three minutes past nine. Thank you very much, Nikki, and thank you, Joe. It's been a year or two since we last heard Nico, but wasn't it sounding good? BBC Sounds app.